tomorrow we're heading to uh, Bodega to get some crabbies and we're just preparing a little bit from the previous trip we had fish carcasses that we had collected into the bags, into the blue bags already. Now I guess we just want to add some chicken just in case, you know, they want to try a variety of chicken or fish to get all the juices flowing. We want to cut some of the chicken into little strips in the middle of the meat so that we can get some juices coming out. On top of that, we also want to add some cat food. The one that we're using here is the chicken and tuna from, I think I purchased it from Walmart, maybe a, a dollar a can. And we're going to be using maybe just half a can per bag, per big bag. Just go ahead and cut that in half like so and did purchase some bags from Daiso, the store that's usually $1.50 and it's a little bit more now but yeah they have little holes in them it's gonna be perfect for us that way all the juices from the cat food will just kind of flow out while the while it's moving inside the water so I'm just gonna tighten that up really good tie a little knot and I'm going to get rid of the extra plastic that's on the top there on the knot. Real simple. And the bag's maybe $1.75, I don't remember. $1.75 for maybe 50 pieces, I don't remember. Some juices. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Looks appetizing. that into the bag and we want to squeeze it out as much as possible make it nice and plump we notice that there's a lot more crabs when we do fill up the bag completely this is the original cage that we used to use uh, wasn't a big fan we didn't we didn't catch too many and plus it's just really bulky and it's hard to, it's hard to store so um, now we're using these bags and, and we did use these bags uh, when we went on a charter a while back too. So um, we'll just use the same thing as um, the charter companies use. So off we go, it's the next morning now. We're heading to Bodega Bay, a couple hour drive. It wasn't too bad, not much traffic during the day. So we're at the dock now. Good day. The water's nice and calm. Right now, maybe about maybe 20 minutes out. As far as we know, uh, commercial crabbing just started. Where they have the crab pots, it seems like it's, it's a landmine. It, there were floats everywhere, the buoys floating everywhere we went. So we have to be careful that I don't want to get caught up with anybody else's buoys. And we are here. Okay, I'm just gonna clip the bait bags onto the nets. ensure that it doesn't fall off so I believe we use three clips on each one. We're at maybe 180, 190 foot depth. DIY little hook thing. Worked pretty 
well. It's just a hanger and a, a bamboo and some line with some epoxy. And as you can see, there's a little red tape there to give you a heads up that, you know, within five feet, we're gonna have the, the cage coming up. Jellyfish. Almost got me! We did pick up some females and of course we returned those. We want them to make some babies for us next year. The keeper throw the ground. Jellyfish. And that is our full day's worth of work. Lots of cleaning up to do for the boat. Very messy. Got some decent ones in here. Woohoo! And I think that's it. Till the next time. <laughs>